us what you feel like doing every time someone says the word election. Well, I can't promise catharsis of this order, but the sculptor Sir Anish Kapoor comes at the whole E-word thing from a different perspective. Um, what's, the door, what's the door frame made of? For a start, he thinks we could solve a lot of our problems by developing the artistic sensibilities of the young. I have a deep sense that we enslave our young people to, and I use that word particularly, enslave our young people to a project that ties them, ties all of us, ties us to a means of production. That's to say that we, are, we want our young people to go out there um, and function in our, in our factories or places of manufacture or whatever. We, it never for an instant considers them as, as, as people. We need to be making job makers not job seekers. But some might say that you're blindsided by your own experience. You happen to be a very creative person. Some people aren't going to get much further than the factory floor, and no disgrace in that. Oh, it's, this is certainly not a matter of disgrace. Is it not us, then, who are kind of setting a path for the so-called other, those other people out there? Um, um, which doesn't acknowledge their creativity. We need to recognise that in the 21st century that we have the potential, each of us, for, for growth. I wouldn't be surprised, frankly, and I don't think this is an exaggeration, if answers to the difficult problems that face us, global warming, which we look to address I, I, through scientific uh, means, um, may also have an address artistically. Traditional learning doesn't always lead to the, 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 path, the path that we've set ourselves, that often it's off to the side. Kapoor came to the UK from India, where he was born in 1954. What does he make of the debate around immigration? I suppose we describe you as an immigrant yourself, do we? I've always uh, uh, had problems with the idea of being an immigrant. However, I've lived here for, I was born in India and lived here for 35 years, so it must be true. Um, People are look, very worried about it, it seems, yes, at this election. Politicians yes, certainly are referencing it. I think it's it. hysterical. That's hysterical. Um, and more than slightly ridiculous. Um, you know, there are many like me who would not have stayed or worked or been part of the British environment had it not been for a slightly more liberal um, um, immigration environment. Um, this, the, the, the current situation means that we train students who come here to go to art school, um, technology, whatever, medicine. Else, whatever else, medicine, yeah. etc. 99.9% um, of them of, of, are made to leave by the time they've finished. We've reduced ourselves to a smaller pool of talent. Why would we do that? It is beyond my understanding. That's got to be economic madness too. Are there such things as British values? And if so, is it important that we all subscribe to them? Yeah, again, when I was growing up in sort of recently post-colonial India, um, there was still the idea that um, there was such a thing as a, as a British gentleman. Rather, it, the idea embodied a certain notion of goodness, of um, um, parity, if you like, in spite of class, um, of, of humanity. I think those are things that are terribly important and that we um, um, lose them at our peril. Have we lost them or are they in danger of they're, going as some fear? Yes, I feel that, that there is um, a sense that all this little nation stuff um, keeps, us, keeps us away from real contact. So much of our national life, it seems to me, is based on, I'm a tough boy, you know? And that excludes all. It doesn't, it doesn't allow for 
our common humanity. The sculptor's perhaps best known for this, the Orbit, the centrepiece of the Olympic Park for the 2012 London Games. Now, lots of people loved your work at the Olympic Park. Others were a bit rude about yeah. it. Yeah. Does that bother you? Do you laugh it off? Do you enjoy no. some of it? Or? No, I think it's okay. It is an object with all its uh, elbows sticking out and slightly awkward, but I think I made it for that reason. I wanted it to be slightly awkward. Do you like living here? Do you still like living <laughs> here? <laughs> or that not? is such an unfair question. Is it? Uh, yes. There are many things about Britain I adore. Such um, as? Well, such as um, a sense that one can say what one wants, do what one wants within reason, um, that there is, if you like, in the right, in the right way, um, a sense of fair play and goodness. You were quoted in a certain national newspaper a few years ago when you were yeah. based in Berlin yes. as saying Britain was yes. screwed up, and that's yeah. a polite term. Um, I think attitudes have changed a lot towards you know, immigrants and others, so we're a much more equal society. But there are still, of course, moments of UKIP is a good example of a, of a moment of hysterical um, uh, xenophobia, um, to put it, in my terms, to put it mildly. I suppose their supporters must feel disenfranchised. They feel that nobody else is looking out for them, and that's why UKIP appears to be doing so well. Mm. I'm sure that's so. Um, but I think if we had a more inclusive idea of, of the citizen, that would no longer need to be the case. Finally, is the glass half full or empty? Is not that a straightforward question? Yes. <laughs> oh, the glass is definitely not empty. Um, there's is it half to, empty? Um, I don't know, there's much to work with. There's much to work with and I think uh, it's a great good fortune that we have things to work with. <laughs>